A very good afternoon to you guys. Today we need to look at heat energy. That is thermal energy. And heat transfer. So we are going to define heat energy. So heat energy basically is the kinetic energy of particles or molecules in a substance. So it is the kinetic energy. particles or molecules in a substance. Okay? So we are saying when molecules or particles in a substance move, they generate heat energy. So the higher their speed, the higher the heat energy. Now let us look at uh, heat transfer. Now what is heat transfer? So heat transfer refers to all the ways in which heat energy travels. Oh the ways in which heat energy travel. Right? Now, uh, there are three ways in which heat energy travels. Now, the first way, number one, we have what is known as conduction. Number two, we have what is known as convection. And number three, we have what is known as radiation. All right. So, let's start with conduction. So, we are saying when heat energy travels through, when heat energy travels, through solids. Okay, it is called conduction. So when heat travels through solids, we term it conduction. All right? So this is the solid matter. So it is traveling through the solid metal. This is conduction. So heat normally travels from water parts to cooler parts. So it actually radiates from where it is being generated to where there is no heat. That's what it does. So to prove this, they performed an experiment where we had a metal strip 
and a retort statement. Meta. Okay. Then a banner was placed here. This is our banner. Okay. So this was uh, what? This part was what? And we attached. Uh, three pencils with the wax these are the three pencils so we wanted to prove that it travels through solids so this part was red hot where the banner is and as it was moving because these pencils were attached with wax the moment it uh, reached this point, let's say A, this pencil fell down. And after it was followed by this pencil B, and lastly by this pencil C. So this proved to us that it was actually traveling uh, through the solids from water parts to cooler parts. Okay? So this is an experiment to show that uh, heat travels through solids. Now, let us move to convection. Convection is when heat travels through liquids all right this is convection so when you travel through liquids you would realize that it will move like uh, we have an experiment this is uh, potassium permanganate crystal. Potassium permanganate crystal. Okay. And this is liquid water. So they take a banner and start to heat the water in this container or in this beaker. So what happens is when liquids are heated, they become less dense. So because this is cold water, the moment it is heated, the water at the bottom it will be forced to go up because it will be less dense and mvuro erpa top iri heavier will be forced down kuti iri less dense iwe so these arrows ndo anonzi ma convection currents ekuti mvura yekuita stay up until yese yane same temperature so the purpose of the uh, potassium permanganate crystal is to show uh, movement yema convection because it's colored. So you know tragic mprayacho ikufamba se. Tika seta permanganate crystal, just because water is colorless, we cannot see this uh, convection currents. Okay. So let us now look at radiation. Now, uh, radiation is when uh, heat travels 
Strugati. Premizit. Przewes. Strugati. Ok. So, for us to prove this, we had an arrangement. Like this. And we had our uh, lamp here. So, gas was entering through this chimney. And it was going out through this one. Because when a, a gas it is heated, just like liquids, it becomes less dense. So it will be forced upwards. And cooler, uh, gas, uh, upwards. So there are also convection currents as well. So this is convection in gases. Okay. But uh, gases specifically, uh, they they move in a in, in the radiation. Okay. So this is the experiment uh, for for gases. Now I want to look at absorbers and the emitters, but let's start with absorbers. Uh, absorbers are materials that check in and keep heat okay so all the materials that takes in heat and keep it are called absorbers of heat okay so pagait come experiments they have realized that black surfaces are very good absorbers of heat. That's the reason why you see that most pots are black in color. It's because in any case, we would want to save heat. Cannot hibika. All right? So that's the reason why most pots are black in color. So black surfaces are generally good absorbers of heat. Okay? Let's look at emitters. These are materials which radiate heat energy. I'm sure at one time, Wakambo end up on a portrait in a there is a certain heat that you feel usna kubata pot but uri closer to it. That heat that you feel is called uh, is, is the heat which is being radiated by the pot. So that concept is called emission of heat. So black surfaces also are good emitters. <coughs> Black surfaces are also good emitters. Okay. Now let us look at um, reflectors of heat. Reflectors of 
Okay. Now, what are reflectors of heat energy? Any material that reflects heat is called a reflector of heat energy. So, with uh, shiny surfaces like white, white surfaces generally they reflect heat. Okay. Silver surfaces they reflect heat as well. So these ones they don't keep it or absorb it, but they actually reflect it, uh, redirecting it where it came from. That's what they do. Okay. So we have poor emitters. We have. Uh, poor absorbers with poor uh, conductors, etc. Like wood. Wood is a poor absorber of heat energy. Okay? Plastic is also a poor or it's even a poor conductor of heat energy. That's the reason why you see it is uh, most uh, cooking spoons are made of plastic because Alright. Now, uh, let us look at the real world use. The real world use of these is like with the solar water heater. A solar water heater is the one ya mnuona ilipa msoro pezi mbati wani. Ningi ni masola panos ana absorb heat. Iti ya ufa mbisiko tuu makopa wires to the geezer. These copper wires are very thin kuti eh, mfura ifa mbeli shoba so that ino kumbi za ya heat wa. Yo direct kwa kugiza. Then uh, mbatru mbuno batanga ugeza. So the reason why my panels are akaiswa and my copper wires on top of a roof is because they want to absorb as much sunlight as possible. Okay. We have uh, things like a flask. A flask is just a combination of two glass uh, cubes separated by a, by a vacuum. Okay, a vacuum is just a space with nothing. Because remember, vacuums are poor conductors of, of heat. So this vacuum, it uh, is a heat energy. And at the same token, it's a heat energy from someone. Okay, that's the reason why you see with the flask will keep cold things cold and hot things hot. Okay? We also have a solar cooker. Now, how does the solar cooker work? The solar cooker is more like a satellite dish where there will be a port in the middle. So what happens is, the moment sun shines in nowhere, you know that there is a shiny surface. Yes, what happens this shiny surface? A port in the center. So all the sunlight rays are directed at the center by this shiny surface. They reflect heat. So portray you the on a heat whatever you are cooking is up to be. Okay? That's the concept ye solar port or solar cooker. Alright. 
So there are many more examples. Uh, some you can go and check on your own. But for today, this is what I have about energy. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't just hesitate to let me know at 0784-002-002. And also don't forget to subscribe and like on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.